that therefore, at the beginning of chapter 12, I don't think goes back simply to 11. I think it's a therefore in light of everything you've heard from 118 or 116 all the way up to chapter 12. Uh, therefore, in light of the fact that you are justified by grace through faith, in light of the fact that you now have peace with God, and in light of the fact that now um, there is no condemnation for all of us who are in Christ Jesus. In light of the fact that I'll be faithful to you in the same way I've been faithful to Israel, how deeply Paul feels the need to encourage you in what he's going to say. It's I urge you I, or I exhort you, therefore, he says, brethren, and the first thing I want you to see is by the mercies of God. What he is about to ask you to do is in light of the mercies of God. But see, the mercies of God that he's talking about here are not your personal mercies. They're our historical mercies in Christ. They're unique mercies. These are not the same mercies that guys who live for themselves get. So now, in light of the fact that you now have peace with God, and some folks don't, in light of the fact that you have been justified not by your efforts but by your faith, because some folks haven't, he says, in light of all God has done, he is not going to ask you to follow the law. W watch this. He is going to ask you to offer to him a sacrifice. That's in the language of historical Israel and their acts of worship. And he says, so I want you to give yourself as a sacrifice to me. Now, now watch what he says. He says at the end of verse one, he says, which is your, my, my translation says, spiritual service of worship. Some translation says your reasonable act of worship, right? Or your rational response to what I've done. 